The manager we have in the hot seat this week is Brendan Rogers. Um, Brian, I'm actually going to come to you because that was the manager who was linked with Arsenal for quite some time. Um, I think last season when Arsenal was going through their ups and downs at the beginning of the season, a lot of people were talking about Brendan Rogers, Brendan Rogers, and well, we see where Leicester, you know, has kind of faltered in the past, I'd say, nine months or so. Um, what are your thoughts there? What's going on with Leicester? And do you think that he should still have a job? I mean, the the, the lost players, right? So, uh, it, it it seems the club did not have a plan. Who did they lose? Oh, they, they lost, lost uh, not Fufana. Schmeichel. They lost Schmeichel, right? Yeah, you literally have it. a goalie that's... that has never played. Um, but that's it. That dude is. Um, that dude no, sucks. But to, to to keep playing the Premier League, you need to keep recruiting players, right? And your players are keep getting linked um, to other teams. So mm-hmm. um, it, it's just that I, I don't think they have a vision as to what they want to do next. And maybe because everybody's buying, maybe that's why they're selling, right? So so your assets while the the market is hot. So. Maybe that's maybe that maybe that's what you're doing, but mm-hmm. yeah, they they just need a long term vision. Yeah, I think that's what I think it's a club level issue. Okay, um, Emeka, I believe you were one of the people who did like Rogers last season. Slash wanted him to come to Arsenal. What are your thoughts on? kind of where Leicester is at right now and whether it's a Rogers issue or a Leicester issue. Yeah, honestly, um, I did not really care for Rogers like that. I didn't ever think he was as bad as he seems to currently be. I will say that. But if I'm just being honest here, the thing with Leicester is, guys, we just have to be honest, man. They do not have a backline. Like, sorry, Especially now that Fafana is gone. In fact, I mean, Johnny Evans, I want to say, is damn near 35, 36. He's just not keeping up pace-wise. And then, so Yuntra, I guess, is okay. But then them not having Schmeichel, this Ward guy, respectfully, is not even good. Dude, in my sucks. opinion, he's actually going to be the worst keeper in the league this season. He is the because worst. Because he just, he just inherently lacks the goalkeeping ability. Like, people will just have it or you don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, Pope has it. Um... Ramsdale has it like he just doesn't have that keeper instinct in my opinion that's one and then two I do think Leicester outside of those two positions still have the capacity to have like some attacking prowess because honestly they actually okay yes they've lost Javi uh, sorry not Javi Vardy in a sense because Vardy is not starting but I still think with Patin Daka, Ihen Atra, James uh, Madison, Drewsbury Hall um, Barnes uh, I don't want to say Yuri because everybody talks about him. He's really not that good. But between those five, six players, I think they honestly can still sort of push back. So yeah, what I thought would happen... I mean, there's couples, there's couples, so. Yeah, I, I did think that what would happen would be simply that their games would just be high-scoring games and Leicester would just, like, nick a goal in the end or something like that just because they still definitely have some attacking prowess to them. They should not have loaned out or sold Ademola, Lukman. But outside of that, I think Rogers is just. More... I think Lukman was uh, loaned to them, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I, don't know I, I would have to go back to they the purchased him. There. But but ultimately, I think Rogers has reached a ceiling. Essentially, I think he needs new change, or he needs change. So I do think he needs to get fired, and I do believe that the next manager will probably galvanize the players and will get more results from them. But it's not to say that Rogers is a bad manager. I just think this is the. A, not a good team for him. The job is not a good fit for him, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, similar to Carla, Carlo Ancelotti being at Everton. Ancelotti was never a bad manager, but the results that he was getting at Everton did not necessarily display his quality as a manager. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And obviously, when he went to Madrid, what happened? He won the, the, the Champions League, right? Yo, so, so why do you guys always blame Pep like people always neck Pep they say oh Pep is not that good because he cannot manage you know no it's not Everton right Pep is not at Everton right I know know, but like why are we making excuses for certain managers because you know you can't use it for certain managers like Pep because 
Pep is uh, same reason why you can't use it for Pochettino. Same reason why you can't use it for if you're a top manager, you belong to a top team. And then when a yes. top manager is managing a top team, then we compare your outcomes and we look at your results and we determine your ability as a manager. No, so, I get it. Let I get me it, ask you. Let me ask you this: Is Rogers a top manager? I do not believe Rogers is on the alpha level of managers or like on the A level of managers. So I won't put him in the category of the clubs and the Peps and the Angelotti's and the Mourinho's. I think he's just the mm-hmm. next. I think he's in the next wave of managers. I don't think he's number one. He's yeah, not. But he'll like, do better with very good players, right? Unlike yes, I, I can see. So he's not thriving right now at Leicester. I think more so because of Leicester's defensive issues. But I can see him mm-hmm. thriving. Like tell you what, Southampton is probably going to fire their manager. Nottingham Forest probably going to fire their manager. Um, I think that when he goes to either of these two teams, he might thrive. Not to say these two teams are better than Leicester, but I feel like he just has more to work with in those teams and then he can definitely now tap into himself. But right now, Leicester is just not a good fit. But I think he has lost the board. I think he has lost the players. He has lost the locker room. They're not fighting for him anymore, so he just needs to move on. You see what I'm saying? Brandon, what are your thoughts on this? Um, because he was also linked with the United job almost a year ago now. Um, do you think he would have been if we're going by Emeka's uh, point here about him being managing a better team do you think he would have been successful at United you're muted we can't hear you I don't even know if he would really be successful at um, Sarampton man because I watched Sarampton play and I looked at the team and I'm like how do they score goals Outside of set pieces. Bro, I don't know what Emeka says a lot of the time. Bro. Yeah. Even, even Leicester, more, Leicester right? was able to register two goals against, against Spurs. You see what I'm saying? So, I came on here the last time to, to kind of open the lead on the things that I felt would go wrong for Leicester. You cannot stay and not make any business in the window. And you're like, oh, okay, but these were the players that, you know, with the same players, previous season, better position and all that. But I'm like, yes, there's a reason why we all go into the market for reinforcement. So if last year we were all average, and this year every average team is trying to strengthen their 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 you know their squad. And you mm-hmm. are like, okay, because we were average, we'll still be okay, we'll still be average. And everybody has done the strengthening and you haven't, how do you expect to compete? It, everything started from preseason into the season itself, right? I don't, I, I did not expect United to even poach uh, Rogers because I just feel like personally he's not a character that I, w- I would enjoy in in, in, in United. I had nothing yeah. against his style or anything, but like there are certain characters that you would enjoy from the manager, and there are some that you just wouldn't. So it, it wasn't a character that I would enjoy at, at United. So 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 far as him success, um, you know, being successful at United, I don't think he will. You know why? No. I don't feel like he's that guy that will come in and, and say that, hey, uh, Maguire, captain, go sit down for the next whatever games, you know? Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like he's that kind of guy that can stop me in sport and say things to the board that people or managers in the past hasn't, haven't been able to talk about. So him being successful at United, you know, that, that wouldn't happen. And that was the mm-hmm. reason why I didn't want us to get him in the first place. But with the Leicester thing, man, it's, it's just going to get worse. It is just going to get worse. Like, it is going to get worse. People think that Leicester cannot be relegated. Leicester, I always call them Leicester for some reason. Leicester cannot be relegated. But please, like with what's happening... Rogers could easily get fired if they do some crazy business in the market in January. Just mm-hmm. maybe. Just maybe. Because the things they are relying on right now, both manager and players wise, it's not clicking. It's just not working. It's not clicking. So I don't expect Rogers to to, you know, fire up in teams like United. No, because mm-hmm. United's problems are deep, very deep. So for him not being able to handle Leicester, I don't think he will succeed at United. No, not this current United. Yeah. Uh, George, I'm going to come to you regarding Lester. And um, at this point, I think we've talked about Rodgers enough. Let's talk about the game yesterday versus Tottenham. Uh, What went 
A, what went wrong for Leicester. B, did Conte do the right thing, benching Son? Mm, yeah, so um, what went wrong for Leicester? We all knew they were going to concede because their yeah, defense was just terrible, right? That, that yeah. was given. So it was just, it's like, you know, is Spurs going to take their chances? It was at that point. Like, how many goals or how many goals were it, is Spurs going to score? Did you get? So that was that was the whole thing going into that game. Like, how many goals is Spurs going to score or how many of their chances are they going to take? But Leicester just terrible defensively. In regards to whether Conte made a good decision by Bench and so on, I think, you know, it had to happen at some point. Because the guy was not, he was not scoring. Yeah, he was, you could tell he was very frustrated in every single game that he played um, this season. He's been very, 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 very frustrated. So sometimes he just needs to, like, you know, take them out, you know, let them relax, calm down, and, you know, put them back in. I think, I wasn't expecting Son to come on. I thought he mm-hmm. was going to probably put Son on, maybe start him the next game or something. I wasn't expecting him to come on, but you could tell when the guy came on, he had, a, he had a point to prove. It was like, yo, how are you going to bench me? I was the, like, the leading goal scorer last season. How are you going to bench me? Do you get it? Yeah. But watching Son that day, I was just filled with, like, a lot of rage. And because <laughs> it was between him and Kane. I was decided, then. And I was like, you know, let me just go with Kane. Because, like, you know, that did a little bit of research. And I had a feeling I was going to be benched. But still, even with that, I was like, bro, I should have... Pop out. Anyways, I'm I'm just going off of you know On yeah. FPL, I was just mad. I was just mad. I was just, watching, I was just watching that thing. I was like, yo, when is he gonna start? They gonna stop him? The guy <laughs> kept scoring and skills. I'm like, guy, come on, that's enough. <laughs> but Son Son did his thing. I'm um, proud mm-hmm. of him because he deserves it. Like you know, he does. He's he's just a nice person. You want people like that. You want to see them succeed. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's like yeah. it was good for him. Confidence booster. He's coming back to my team. You know, let's go. Let's go, Son. Let's go. He has a good season ahead of him. He I'm glad Son <laughs> actually popped, man, because yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the most the most constant player in my FPL team since I played, well, not since I played FPL. Let me just say last season was Son. Mm-hmm. The least person I always had in my team was Salah. Salah would be in my team like one or two game weeks and he's gone. I was never the fan of Salah that much. And it, it hurt me sometimes, but... For some reason, I was always drifted towards Son instead. And Son made, you know, mad points for me last season. So this season, not being able to have Son in my squad, I feel I feel a tap away. I was trying to, you know, I popped my wild card and I'm like, okay, mm. Express are definitely going to blow Leicester through. But I did not have the courage to bring on Son. Because like you said, man, I have people that go deep into the research, let us know what's going on. Shout out to Grand Up, shout out to George, you know what I'm mm. saying? And things like that make you be like, okay, you're not what's funny? What's funny? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? But what's funny? when we are saying when we are saying shout outs, man, so this game week, my game week was actually saved by rookie. To be honest. And I, I'll save my honest, own I'm, game week, though. I'm a, you know, I'm a ground up hundred <laughs> percent. So I was having a conversation with Rookie and I was like, yo, it was like three minutes to to deadline. I was like, hey man. I feel like Leicester's going to score a lot and I wanted to captain Kane, but I don't have the balls because my head-to-head opponent is captain Haaland and Haaland could just blow through Wolves. So I'm like, I'm scared, man. I can't do this. So she was like, just do it. Like, I mean, just do it. High high risk, high reward. You never know. So, um, Kane could pop more. And it was like two minutes. I, l- I looked at the clock for like two minutes and I switched it to Kane. I won my head-to-head with two points. So... That tells you that that played a great role. So shout outs to you, rookie, uh, hey, for that. But yeah, got a shout out up all day, every day. But yeah, all right. man. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that. Now that, you lost me again. That, no, no. You, you give, uh, you know, you give respect and honor to you know whom is due. You give what is to Caesar to Caesar. You give what is to Christ to Christ. But talking about Son, I'm happy for him to be back, man. I'm happy for Son to be back, and I feel like he's gonna come back into my team. He's gonna do great things. Uh, Tottenham, I feel like they they're gonna have a, a, a good run this couple yeah. games coming in. So let's see. Shout outs to 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 Kane for doing his thing. So let's keep um, the conversation going. I'll be back. Just one second. Mm-hmm. Sure. Thank you, Vic. Um, while we're on the subject of Tottenham, we're gonna move swiftly into 
a preview and prediction section for the upcoming game week. Tottenham's next game, as luck would have it, is versus Arsenal at the Emirates. It is the first North London Derby of this season. George, (laughs) how do you think this is going to go? And give me your prediction. Your Uh, prediction. So Mm. we all know Son is now scoring goals, right? We all know... (laughs) We all know, you know, he gave his Swiss six games to, like, score all the goals he can score. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what, let me just score three today. Like, in yeah. 10 now minutes. He's to, now he's trying to catch up to He's going to catch up to Holland. He's going to catch up to Holland now. Nah, he's so. like, probably not going to catch up to Holland. But he just gave well, his Well, he's going to try. He's going to yeah, try. He's probably going to try. Yeah. So, basically, the way, again, the way Arsenal is set up is for teams like Spurs that are going to benefit from it. Like the way United benefited from, yeah, you know, against Arsenal is like that. I see, I see that same thing happening again. Like this time, it's going to be Son Kane, Kulusevski or Richarlison. Yeah. You have a high line. You have players running behind. Son is now, like I said, Son is back in form. So expect him to do something. So I'm gonna say, I think Arsenal is going to score because I, I wasn't really impressed with Spurs midfield like against uh, Leicester. Leicester was actually bought in that game strangely in midfield but I wasn't impressed I'm not impressed with our midfield and I think that's where Arsenal is probably gonna like you know have a, have like an upper hand but even with that I still think Spurs is gonna win that game um, I'm gonna go with like a, a 3-2 game 3-2 okay. Arsenal high um, scoring game yeah high scoring game Spurs okay. definitely gonna win that one too. you're really you're really with man them man I think the gods talk to you these days man <laughs> Yeah, Vic, but... I'm going to come to you. Uh, give me what you think is going to happen with the Arsenal versus Tottenham game coming up in two weeks, I believe that is. And uh, I believe you had some thoughts. Start with your thoughts on yesterday's game and then um, give me give me the rundown in your prediction for Arsenal versus Tottenham. Okay. On the game yesterday, to be honest, um, when you when you said when you asked the question, was this smart for Conte to bench Son? To be honest, it wasn't smart at all. That was not a smart move. It doesn't matter what Son was doing. It doesn't matter how... Yes, he had some some goal droughts and he wasn't banging in goals or assisting or anything. As a coach, you need to see the team you're playing and the form they're in. Spurs, I said Spurs, Leicester has been on a decline, especially with that goal, goalkeeper. That they game was... They were last. They actually insane. lost in the league. Yeah, last in the mm-hmm. league. You get me? Mm-hmm. They haven't that's, won a game that's, And that's a game. That is legit a game that is meant for Son because it's an open play game. You All Son needs to do is just be in spaces and... Positioning. Hot, that's on, man. And, and what Leicester... He, he, he goes and, into spaces. And what Leicester just had on the field was just what? Space. Space. You get me? As a coach, yes, with Charleston, Richarlison doesn't know how to take advantage of those spaces. You get me? Richarlison is, is a kind of player that wants to go one-on-one. Son, Son's best attribute is just taking advantage of spaces on the field. And, you know, having known, knowing that, yes, he has somebody behind him who's what? Harry Kane. Who, who he has 100% confidence in that, he's, that will definitely feed him the pass. You know? So, on Friday, when me and David were actually looking at... It was legit between KDB and Son. We looked at the lineup. Yes, it's Wolves. KDB has been playing the whole of the season. We just didn't know if that guy was going to start because we don't know what Pep will be thinking. It's a kind of game where Pep will be like, okay, we're playing Wolves. F it. I'm just going to start. Let me bench, him. Let me bench yeah. him and start Bernardo and play good again together. And then, mm-hmm. you know. So just, but we, we started to look at the teams like, yo, these guys are playing Leicester. This is a game. This is where Son legit opened up his books. Like, he's definitely going to use his team to open up his goal-scoring chances, you know. And bringing his son into the team was a no-brainer, you know. Outside of that, Leicester actually played better than Tottenham that whole game. At least the first 60 minutes of the game until son came on, Leicester played way better than Spurs. Spurs didn't do anything. The only way... those, In fact, the only thing that was keeping them afloat was just two set-piece goals. Outside of that, let's first didn't do jack nothing. They didn't do anything to actually say, you know, they were holding the game and they had control of the game. It was until Son came in, until Son came into that game, 
you know, things change. Why? Because the boy knows how to, he knows how to be in those places where mm-hmm. he knows these defenders are not going to be. And one, he has the speed to actually, you know, take on these defenders and finish his chances. He's a clinical striker or he's a clinical winger or whatever he is, a clinical finisher. So him not starting that game was not a smart decision. That's why him coming yeah. on, once he came on in that game and I, and I, I was on the phone, me and David with the whole 90 minutes, me and David on the phone, I was like, yo, watch this game. He's at least one goal. If he scores one goal and there's still enough time on this field, he's going for a second one. And once he went for that second one and there was still enough time on the field, I was like, yeah, there's a hat trick going. There, there was no, like, there's too much space on this field for this boy to actually go off that Richarlison wasn't taking advantage of and Kulusevsky wasn't taking advantage of. Why? Because he has he has that more, he has a better attacking sense than those two. Yes, he's not scoring the goals. Doesn't mean, you know, he's he he deserves to be benched. She didn't deserve to be benched because you're playing a very poor team that has a poor defense and has a very poor keeper. You know, you know he benching, played. You know he played against Nottingham Forest and he didn't score. Nottingham Forest are better than Leicester, bro. You're acting like Nottingham Forest. They suck. Like, they bet they are better yeah, than. Please, right I'm now all, they are all, better all, than Leicester. All I'm saying is this Nottingham Forest team. They had a bunch of spaces in their team too. My thing is, you cannot say. It was a bad decision because, like, you don't know what would have happened if he started. He would have blanked. You don't know. Nah, the there's thing no is way. Him. There's you no know, way he would have started nah, and blanked. There's, there's, he could have easily there's started no... and blanked. Bro, there was ah, a lot of dude, space. Did you see how the game? Up? No, did you see how the game right. started? Look, I don't stop, agree that Son should be benched just because he's having a poor form. Right yeah, now. Like, like he he had a poor. Just... I don't agree that to that, but I don't feel like it's like a grave mistake for him to bench him. And mm-hmm. because he could actually start the game and blank, you and never even, know. That would have been this worse. That would have yeah, been worse. As different. Because, like, say he came on, he started in the first forty-five minutes, and he didn't get a goal, he didn't get an assist. He he could start psychologically having problems psyching himself. That would have like, been oh, worse. Yeah, it's that still another worse. forty-five minutes, and I still haven't scored. And you know, so sometimes life just got yeah, a scenario. Yeah, you have to set you know? up the hero. Yeah. The hero sometimes scenario. it just it just has mm-hmm. to be like that, and I feel like. That's what happened for him this weekend, and mm-hmm. and he just worked out, and we are all glad. But I don't feel like it's such a grave mistake that he was put on the bench. Do I want him to be on the bench? No, I don't think he deserves being on the bench because Son is a great player. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. So, Vic, what's your prediction for Arsenal versus Tottenham? Um, I I see Spurs winning that game. Um. They, they always find... I don't know what it is with this team. They always uh, find a way to... We're at home. By the way, we're at home. They beat you guys, Brian. They beat you guys and made it into top four last <laughs> No, no, no. no. We're we at home, by the way. But they, they, they no, beat no, you guys last season. No, right? no, no. But we're not at, it wasn't at home. At it wasn't at home? The second one was at home? Like, I, check. You were at home. I, okay. the Brian, Brian, I get it. Trust me. I get it. <laughs> you guys are home. You know? But the problem with, with, the problem with Spurs is... They know how to turn up when it's these rival games. They did the same thing with Chelsea. They didn't play anything against Chelsea. They found yeah, a way to draw that That was game. a Stamford Bridge. You get me? They found a way to draw that game. It's the same thing that happened I mean, with they, Arsenal. They cheated Chelsea that game. They cheated yeah. Chelsea that game. We, we know that for I a mean, fact. But outside of yeah, that, that game, hunt- Chelsea actually is one of their best games this season. That was our best game. Not one of yeah. That was our best game the whole season. Um, but they still found a way to, 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 to draw that game. Mm-hmm. They always find a way to. I don't know what it is with Conte's teams. They always find a way to find just come out at the end. You get so with this Arsenal one. Yes, Arsenal is looking good. I'm not even lying to you. Those guys are looking the way they are playing. I love the way they are playing right now. They play. They play as one. It's not. It's not an individual team. You get me. These guys they move together as a unit. It's going to be a tough game, but I still see Spurs finding a way to just come out on top. You know, do you feel like any of the international games will affect the the team availability? We're we're gonna we're gonna assume everyone is fit and healthy. Yeah, let's just assume everyone is fit. I believe Son is gonna Conte is not after what Son just did. Son is not gonna be benched. And now that's like I I I said, Son has opened his like I said it on the floodgates for him is open. So now at least a goal and an assist is loading, moving forward for him. You get me? So uh, to be honest, I see probably like a 2-1 win Spurs or okay. a 2-2 draw. It, it, with this game, you just don't know. But I don't. I, to be honest, I don't see Arsenal winning because... Okay. Yeah, I don't, so 2-1 really Spurs. Yeah, 2-1 Spurs. Okay. 
Brian, I'm going to come to you. Um, give me your prediction. Give me how you think the game is going to go. I mean, uh, I do, at home, I think we'll see the 3-1. I'll win 3-1. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's about that out. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, it's possible, man. Arsenal's Arsenal Arsenal looking good, bro. No one's given like Vic, 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 Vic. They've not played any serious team. They played United. United, look at what United did to them. They have not played any serious team, bro. Like, let's relax. No, no, but no. Overall, they're um, not, not come to you. Oh, mama mia. I mean, we've played anyway. as we played as some Villa guys. Anyway, look, where's Aston Villa the table, man? That's what Aston Villa did to City. Right. <laughs> This 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 game is gonna be a high scoring game. I don't know if uh you know my ground up member has the blueprint that I'm holding right now. Let's stop this uh, Brian, um, bro, um I know he wants to be giving credits Mondays. Let's stop this. What you, you, Why said, do you have a you problem made some, with ground up? You, you made no Mondays, you made some statements earlier that I don't you you're telling me some there's a there's a deep scouting at I don't know what whatever that statement what your scouting why are you, team. Why, that, that shit why, should not, why are you having I, a I don't expect that to be coming up, out of your lips. What is the your hate? Scout, Where's the hate? Your scouting from? team I don't or your scouting well, member. Why, why, why is man? Victor, let's, I don't, please let's just talk and leave this ground up rubbish at the conversation. Anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying <laughs> before, Vic cannot, you know, make me feel comfortable on the part. As I was <laughs> saying, I feel like my ground up member oh, here has the same God. blueprint. <laughs> because it's a high scoring game, man. 3 2. Tottenham Hotspurs. No brainer. 3 2. Okay. Too easy. Too Three, easy, two. man. And if, if Mandem have said it, you know that's what's going to oh. happen. Oh. Like, oh. You know that's what's oh. going to happen. Oh. Ijabba <sighs> Moja. <sighs> Take a sigh. <laughs> Deep breath. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure if Emeka is still gone. So we're going to move on to the next game. Yeah, bad boys um, are not relevant on the FPL table. Let's move on. Oh, he, he is here. Hi, Emeka. Um, give us the rundown of how you think um, Arsenal versus Tottenham is going to go and also what you think the scoreline is going to be. Absolutely. Now, guys, what happened is I had to... It was an urgent situation, you know. Let's just <laughs> say um, I had to be somewhere else uh, momentarily, but I'm back. So then now we're talking about Arsenal versus Spurs. Okay, so... I was very encouraged by the Tottenham Leicester uh, City game. And I was encouraged because I saw the Leicester uh, strengths to an extent, but I more so saw the Tottenham weaknesses. Okay. So I know George wants me to jinx this game and tell you that Arsenal is going to go route them 4 0, which is going to be the case. But what I will say is this actually. Um, what I will say is this, okay? Um, that game is going to be an Arsenal dub. Obviously, it's a home game for us. We're never mm-hmm. going to let Tottenham beat us at home. There was a time that... Anyways, um, I will say it's a bit concerning that Son heung Min's bagged the hat-trick. That one is a bit concerning. I wish he had waited until after our game to start banging in these goals. But I believe in my boy. Saliba is poised. He's composed. He's calm. He's collected. Gabriel is putting in shifts. Okay, between White and Tomiyasu, I think our right side is decent. I'm a bit concerned for the left because between Tiani and Zinchenko, I don't think it's enough strength, right? If the Ghanaian masterclass that is Tom Patsy is available that day and he's paired with Granit Xhaka, I do believe that Arsenal will win that game. So I will say that I'll be conservative to be on the safe side. I will say 3-1 Arsenal wins because Harry Kane or Son is going to score. I'll I'll say 3-1. Um, Who's going to go? Martinelli go, and an off an outlier go. Maybe Saliba, maybe Gabriel, something like Who's that. Who's going so to go say... between Son and Kane? You say, say, say that again, please. Who's scoring the one goal between Son? Oh, and it's Harry Kane. It's Harry Kane. It's okay, Harry Kane. so Son is not scoring. Harry Kane always bangs Arsenal, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be Harry Kane. Harry Kane always scores us for some reason. So I will say, I will say that I'm going to go with Harry in this one. But yeah, three one, man. I think. Bukayo Saka needs to start getting his goals in too. I mean, he had two assists today. Kudos to him. But he hasn't really been goaling. So I think just like Son, you know, broke his drought, I think Saka will break his drought. So actually, I'll say Martinelli, Jesus, and Saka. 3-1. Okay. Oh, let's um, go, man. This is it. This um, is it. George, I'm going to come to you for the next game, which is Palace versus Chelsea. This is... Uh, 
Potter's first Premier League game in charge. Palace is at home. What do you think? How do you think this is going to go? Man, I can't even tell you. I can't tell you. I can't. I can't. I, like I can't even bet money that Chelsea is going to win that game. I can't do that. Um, it's not going to be an easy game. It's yeah. not. It's really not. And I saw like parts of the Chelsea Salzburg game, and I saw that also a lot of like Chelsea's not playing that three five two formation anymore. Are you guys doing that? I don't think that's what you guys played yeah. against Salzburg. It was like a four <laughs> four like a four, Full back, basically. So it was back. supposed to be a full back, but he pushed up Reese. So Reese was more in the middle, and he just played Cucurella, Tiago, and Aspi. So he played a three back, but um, Reese um, was more of like a midfielder. Yeah, Reese was more like more so he, defensively to be a full back, but offensively to be um a three back. I think four in the middle. Um, and then yeah, about top. yeah. I don't know if you can do that against Crystal Palace, man, because you're giving a lot of space to Zaha. On that side, mm-hmm. like you get like Zaha is gonna get a lot of space. That's what I'm like. I can't tell you if Chelsea's gonna win that game, so I'm just gonna go with. And I don't, I don't know if Zaha is back from his injury too. I don't know if he's back. If Zaha uh, is back, back, he yeah. played the he yeah. played the last game that he was on. I don't know. Yeah. About so if Zaha is back, bro, if Zaha is back, I'm gonna go with like yeah. I'll go with like a two-two game. Okay. Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Mandem, Palace versus Chelsea. <sighs> that, <clears throat> that's actually a tough prediction for me, myself, man. Because I feel like... Oh, the gods the, aren't talking to you about this one? Yeah, it's, bec- it's just because the gods don't really see Chelsea as a relevant team right now. <laughs> so they don't want to say much about Chelsea. But, uh, I mean, a team that's not going to make top four would, would, would not be relevant to the gods anyways. But, um, yeah, man, um, when I'm looking at this game with Palace and, 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 and Chelsea, I feel like I want to I wanna go for a one-all draw. I want to go okay. for a one-all draw just because um, when I'm looking at Palace having – themselves give three points to Chelsea. I feel like they're not going to do that. But I feel like Chelsea will want to hold their grounds a little bit and be like, well, let's not fall too quickly. Let's not fall too deep, too early. So let's let's keep pushing. So I feel like it's just gonna, they're just going to, you know, split the spoils that day. It's going to be a one-all draw. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Emeka, let's get your prediction for this game. Yeah, Mandem is not too far off. I think a, a tie... Okay, well, let me say this first and foremost. That game is going to be a very high-scoring game. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Crystal Palace games, if you guys want me to read out the recent results, you'll see that um, a lot of them, you know, I mean, they will always usually exceed three goals, if, I, if I'm if i correct. Give me one second here. Let me verify. Sorry. So, okay, the Newcastle was a 0-0. Okay, so Brentford was 1-1. You're looking at City 4-2. Yeah, so that's most of the game I was thinking about, I think. But um, And then the Villa game was 3-1. But yeah, I think this game is going to be a 2-2 or 3-2. So I will say minimum of four goals for sure. Minimum of four goals for sure. But, sorry, it appears Crystal Palace is at home. So I will say I'll leave it at 2-2. I was going to say Chelsea okay. to win it. But Chelsea's not at home. So I'll say 2-2. Okay. Um, yeah, it's actually I'm, I'm actually looking at their their previous um, resorts. The tied one one or Liverpool. Yeah, mm-hmm. City City came back from you know like a two goal two, yeah, two yeah, goal yeah, yeah. 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 Two now to beat them four two. Brentford, hmm, okay. They've been um, impressive. The draw is, 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 is quite likely. The draw is quite likely. I've stepped away, so I'm going to come to you, Vic. Two one. Chelsea. Two one. Who? Okay. Nice. Say it with your chest. Quick and simple. I like that. <laughs> Say it with I'm your chest. Very... Rookie, can I ask can I ask Vic a question? Um, sure. Please, guys. Uh goal scorer prediction. Uh, sorry, I don't I don't want to deviate. I'm, we'll come back to this segment. Just it, you also asked me how many goals a bum young will score because if you well, 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 if if harassing me on the chat with no, that. No, no, sorry, sorry. Two part question. How many goals 
Okay, I'm just thinking the two highest tops, the, the two top scorers this season, and then your team's top striker. What are they scoring? So for rookie, she will tell me what her top striker is going to be. If that's Rashford or Ronaldo, Mandem Z will c- c- confirm or maybe give his opinion on what he thinks. And then George, you give me Chelsea, and then I guess, sorry, Vic, you give me Chelsea, and then George. We don't really care about what you have to say. So, so Vic, I guess if you don't mind, we can start with you, man. So, top the the two highest goal scorers this season, and what you think their numbers will be, and then your Rookie, high... didn't, didn't rookie have anything else for us to walk through before we jump into that? Yeah, yeah, is... we can we can do that as our end. final word. No, 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 no. It can't be final word. Just I'm just curious, it, guys. I'm it, just it curious. It can be a part. It can be a yeah, part of your because final I want words. to process this right now. So give it give it some yeah. time. Whilst we we digest it and then we get right. it's just a two part question. It's just it's, it's, it's a ten, it's a ten second inquiry here. And you yeah, know yeah. what? We we'll, we'll, give you, we'll give you we'll give you a vivid it. research answer. Don't worry. The, uh, no the final game that we're going to predict is the Manchester Derby, uh, City versus United. City is at home. La, la, Mecca, la, la, we'll start with you. What is your prediction, and how do you think this is going to go? Who me? Uh, for what game? City versus United. City versus United. Uh, let me pull up that fixture. So it's at the Etihad. Yeah, Etihad on October. What does the uh, matter? First, uh, yo, yo, you have to understand the alignment of the stars, and it is quintessential here. So uh, it's a nine AM game as well. I don't know, man. I think, yeah, I know United has picked up their form. What is it? They beat Tiraspol, uh, beat Arsenal, beat Leicester, beat Sutton. Man, I'll just say 1 1. City ties this one. I'll say 1 1. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Holland, Holland, Holland. Hmm. Holland, Holland. Fuck. Hmm. All right, fine. 2 1. City wins this one. George, I'm going to come to you for your prediction on this one. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Because, like, you know how United is going to set up. Let's see. Is Rashford, will Rashford be fit for that game? I don't know. If Ronaldo plays, City's going to win that game like 4 0 easily. Yeah. yeah. If Rashford is playing, you know that's going to be a problem because Man City's defense this season, they've also been costing a lot of goals. Mm-hmm. Um, so it depends on who's striking, right? It depends on who's striking, but. Let's say let's say Rashford is fit because um yeah that's still that's still two weeks away so yeah so let's say Rashford is fit I think he's, United is definitely going to score if Rashford is fit United is definitely going to score but I just think you know City just City has wins to, it yeah, it's, yeah. It's still gonna it's gonna be close like maybe a three two game um okay. if Ronaldo starts best believe. Best believe, City's gonna win that game. Oh, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with like a three-two, a three-two, a three-one, a three-one. That is game. not a high scoring game. No, that's a high scoring game for sure. So are we going three-two or three-one? Uh, let's go with three, three-two. Yeah. Okay. Mandem, I'm gonna come to you. Yeah. Uh, so basically. First of what all, are the gods telling you? I'm surprised that George is saying that if Rashford starts, you know, this the, the United is definitely going to score. I'm, I'm really surprised, man. Like, oh, wow, George, is, George is talking about Rashford. Because no, George no, always says like, the, guy, the guy has oh, no Oh, no, he's trash. Let's, let's get that out of there. He's trash. <laughs> but okay, like, but what CT, difference does CT, he make no. at this point? CT's defense, like... They always struggle with players that are quick. It's just it's just what it is. As mm. long as you have some type of pace, you mm. mean, and you keep making some runs. You don't have to even make the sensible runs. Mm. If you make keep making some runs, you probably get you know go from you know it's just how Man City plays. They struggle against attackers that are quick and fast. It's just, okay. it's just that simple. Yeah. Okay. Well, He's this strong. is gonna be I wanna this is that. gonna be another yeah. statement performance from ETH and his boys. And uh, they're going to the blue side to come back home with one point. So definitely, we're drawing that game 2-2 City. We're drawing City 2-2 that day. So 
Yeah, man, okay. absolutely. Uh, it's going to be a nice game to watch. But ETH and his boys, they're bringing back a point home. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. The gods have spoken. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You Three already two, know. Guys. Three, two. <laughs> Monday, we still see you one go, but I see you. <laughs> Vic. Uh, okay. Three, one. I'm not talking too much. Three, one, City. Oh, oh okay, sir. <laughs> Slow oh, down now. No be fine. Yeah. Yeah. This boy Martinez is about to see why Haaland is a god. He's about okay, to be pocketed here. like a like a small person that he is. So just watch how that yeah. So is it Why you gotta come for his height? Why you gotta come for his height? I don't know why you can come for for the guy's personality. Three one city. He, three one city. He's a solid he, player, man. I see. So, I, I'm not talking too okay. much. Next, like all question. the cuckoo and things, we are not seeing anything. Next question, now. please. Three one. Okay. Never see anything. Um. This one, we don't have to. We don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to give a score line. Just a yes or no is the answer to this. Um, Leicester City, as we know, they've been struggling. Their next game is versus Nottingham Forest. Vic, do you think they will win? No, I can't. I don't see them <laughs> winning. <laughs> I don't see these guys oh, winning anytime man. soon, man. Okay. Nottingham Forest is actually not a bad team. So, yo, are you guys serious? No, no. No, George, I don't Little see. Leicester, I don't know where the. I don't know where their win is going to come from. To be honest, I nah, I that know. their win is coming against um, Nottingham Forest. You heard it from. You me. think okay. so? Yeah. All right, man, man. Girl, I watched Forest uh, at home, man, and yeah, that's that. That if Leicester doesn't win that game, then that's okay. A problem. Then me, yeah, I don't know what to say again, but. I feel like yeah, that's the game they should win. That's the game they should. Win. No, if they okay, I mean, should. sorry, if they yeah. play, if they play the way they played the first sixty minutes against Spurs, they win. Then the they. Game. Okay. You, you just gave your prediction. You hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know how to. You didn't say yes or no. So where's the theory now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just thought so about is it. Yes or no? Hold on. Upon the theory, you're giving us right now. Mandev, let me talk, please. If they play the way they play the first 60 minutes of the game, they win. But if they play the way they play the second, at least the last 30 minutes of that game, they'll lose. So in a so nutshell, are they winning or losing? That's the thing. I don't know where their win will come from. That's where I'm confused. It's a yes or no question, okay. right? Yeah. I'll say it a draw. Is a yes or no I'm just going to say a draw for, for, for what this it is. Man, so, man. Not, so it's oh. no. So it's no. Okay, so it's no. Emeka. Because the draw have, is no. They'll win it. They'll win it. They have the players to win it. They'll win. They'll win it. They have the Emeka, players to win it. is Leicester City winning their next game versus Nottingham Forest? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about it, man. Um, I don't think they're winning that game. But I will say it's all the betters out there. That is another high-scoring game. So go place your bets on one and a half first half or three and a half total. If Leicester has okay. conceded 22 goals in seven games, hey, God. 